What is up, Legends? It's Sion. We are back. And yesterday we had a really hyped stream. Sadly, I had to delete the VOD um, for two reasons. One, um, a song flagged and they were being annoying and I didn't really understand why because I played all non-copyrighted music. However, they didn't see it that way, so whatever. And the other reason is because a few content creators don't know how to read fucking emails. Um, if you noticed yesterday, I did not say what the first code was in my video because specifically, you're going to see it pop up on the screen right now. We were told to not do that on YouTube. It's in big ass red letters. It's like the second line of the email underneath the, the first code. Do not put it on YouTube. Content creators didn't read the fucking email and put it on YouTube. And that made the company mad. So I woke up to an email this morning reminding me like I did it, which annoys me. And they did say in the email they apologize. They know that it wasn't me, but they have to remind content creators to read emails. And I'm going to remind content creators to read the goddamn emails. Like, if you want to be professional YouTubers out here, pay attention to the big ass red lettering. <laughs> like it literally said do not do that that's what you saw in my video yesterday i only gave you heroes did not give you the other code we can't even mention the other code on youtube right now i don't know why i don't care it's their company it's their rules and they told us not to do it so like i'm like face palming right now it's like that that's the last thing you want to wake up in the morning and see in your email pretty much they're mad at the content creators because they can't follow directions like unbelievable like completely unbelievable but anyway so i got rid of that that vod i told i'll delete the vod because there were people asking about the code and everything else and please don't put the um the first code in the comment section because i'm just going to delete it i might even ban you because i just literally told you not to do it so just don't do it um with that said, we, we got a lot of luck. So this is a bit of a recap before I get into what the video actually is. So we ended up getting Death Caliber yesterday, which was extremely good. And we ended up getting, you guys are gonna like, be like, whatever, like, dude. We ended up getting Talia and Rudy. Oh, Rudy Lee, I'm sorry, not Rudy. Victory, like the prophecy. And we got a Baelish. We actually got two Baelish yesterday. I ended up turning him into um, Talia. And then we had other <laughs> characters, and they ended up getting turned, and I ended up getting Rudy, which is just a, just a G. He one-shot man. He, he's big-time one-shot man. That's pretty much what happened in the stream yesterday, along with getting power. So, you're going to be like, well, what's this video about today? This video today is about bypassing your roadblocks and how to bypass your roadblocks. Um, majority of the time when you get stuck on a story quest, it's literally because you're not strong enough to handle it. Or your team frontline dies for whatever reason. So, let's talk about that. that if you're doing a 2-3... Which is usually a tank and a healer, which my 2 3 is Anastasia and Burn the Vest. Now you see my Burn the Vest, he's at 40 on his armor. Everything else is kind of like meh, but I do have two pieces of gear, you know, block defense, 4.8 luck, and everything else. I wish it was something else besides luck, but you know, take what we can get. You have block defense right here, lock and block. So, this makes him tanky enough to actually handle stuff. Now, I would like to get better gloves for him over here, but you know, not really defensive. Ah, a refreshing victory. And then you have over here on her side, she has the helmet, 
she's almost completely legendary gear. We just need the chest piece. But hopefully we can get that today, maybe. But with that said, you know, she's at 247 right now. This makes both of them frontline able to take the hits. Now, if you look at my... I can't lose, even if it's not my body. <laughs> if you look at my homie right here, um, Zeon. Zeon is pretty much 274. Now, I have polish right here. So, what's auto polish? I'll show you the infinite power. Where my knights? All right, so now he went out to 279. And let's see how much I need to actually reforge, which I actually have it right now. Uh, and most of these you usually get from out in the field and farming and you get it in creation. All right. So let's auto polish again. I don't have much polish left at this point. So we only went up to 43. Which is a good GG right there. We had... 281,000. Good shit, right? Good stuff. So when that gets up there, it's probably going to be... I'll probably be at like at 290 once this gets up to 50. Makes him kind of like a, a crazy one-shot man. So what you also want to do is worry about your levels. Now you see everybody is pretty much evenly leveled right now. You do not want to have a character 80 and everybody else be like level 60 or something like that because characters can die in this game you could your level 80 character like nobody's invincible so if you lose that 80 you're just left with a level 60 team versus content that's not going to bode well for you even if the character's super strong or whatever else that's just not going to work out well because you're just going to end up with just like that level 80 or if that 80 somehow gets one shot by a mechanic or something like that it's just not going to work really well for you so you're going to be like, so what do I do? So here's how, here's how you grind to get um, power, because gear is almost everything in this game. Now, right now where I'm at is the Northern Territory. And you're going to notice over here that I can actually grind epic purple gear. Doesn't always happen or come out a lot. You see my team is at 1.2 million right now. Um, at this point now, you really just want to go after getting your legendary gear and your epic gear at this point and not so much paying attention to your blue gear. Um, get your blue gear up to maybe 30 or 40. That's it. Don't go to 50. It's not worth going to 50 because you want to be worrying about farming and grinding and doing this as much as possible to be able to get enough currency. You also notice that you also get these currencies, these limit break items out here that'll help you with your blessings that'll help you with your weapon stuff and increasing like you see like this orb right here this i just used this orb to level up my death um bringer up to level 50 uh, you also have grinding materials and stuff like that so you definitely want to make sure that you are always always just explorer we just we just always doing this um personally right now i am at this cat right now because i just came back online from last night i left them to actually grind and do everything that they need to do so we're just going to send them out there and do that while i talk to you guys a little bit about this now you're going to notice that again we're all even level skills around this i do apologize this is not a summon video and you know it might be a little bit boring for you guys but this is just all about formation because i don't want people to be stuck this is just what you need to do at this point in time to get the power out, do what you need to do to get your gear grind and everything else. This game gives you a lot of stamina, so you need to be on top of it. It will just always keep like the timer is really fast. And I don't think until you get to like oh 40 will you have a point where it's just not going to be super fast. So take advantage of that, that the game is giving you currency and be on top of it. You can't do anything about that night, because if you go to sleep, you go to sleep, or whatever else. It's good. The stamina is going to come back. 
So just make sure that you do offline grinding to make sure that you have enough to grind out and do that. All right. So again, you see, we just got some currency. We got event currency, the event currency that you can use to actually farm and get other items in the game as well. Sometimes you can dig without actually even fighting anybody and it'll give you EXP, which is always a good thing. This is going to be a fight, though. I'm popping up bad. But this is fine because you, you definitely always want to get that chance to actually get the um, legendary gear. Um, in my experience, legendary gear came out maybe one time a day in expiration. But that's not a bad thing because it's one less legendary gear that you need to actually get 450 dust for. So I know that may not sound that great, but over the course of time that builds up. So you, you can probably get like seven to 10 legendary gear in a week time basically by as long as you're farming and make sure that you're farming properly every day you can probably get seven to ten over that course of time or in the week and that's not bad that's not bad and that's a lot of power that you're going to be grinding power stuff up to get your gear so you see more parts more um event things it's all worth it super useful um all right so we're going to go out of this. I just want to do that a little bit while I was talking to you because I knew I was going to have to do that. So you're going to be like, OK, Sion, I did all that. I got parts. Now what? Now that you did all that farming, you need to break down your gear. As long as you don't need it for something. I particularly um, don't need any of the blue gear. At least I don't think so. Um, let me go into our characters and look. Let me just make sure. Is that the best you can do? <laughs> to God. Not bad. Well then. Probably the backups I do, but I'm not gonna really care. I have only done. Yeah, like her. That's fine. You know what? Let's auto equip and see. Let's go ahead and let's do that. And you just go down the line. We don't need him. Don't have to worry about that. And we don't need her. Uh, I want to bring. Did I even level her? Oh, she's probably up here. I, I'm pretty sure I gave her a little bit of levels. I want to start bringing up Kaya. No, I didn't. I could have swore I leveled this character. As you can see, I have a lot of four star characters and we're gonna talk about that in a later video. Not right now. Oh, there she is. I can just keep going past her. All right, so we're just going to, we're gonna do that. Which is fine because I want to get her in on the raid. So it's fine that, you know, we do that. And she should be easy to transit. That's not the trans. She should be easy to enhance because she is a very low level. She's a three star. So, yeah, 55, 55. And you see, it's really cheap. Let's just skip. See how many. We failed one time, let's do two and see if it... We got it. All right, now she's... And I can actually bless her now, as you guys can see, because I fully enhanced her. So we are going to bless her right now, because like I said, I want to bring her into the raid because she's a very good raid healer. May I sing a song for you? And we're going to keep doing that. And now she's up to 60. Um, no, we don't want to do that because it's not her element. Do this. Oh, I'm just going to keep doing that because let's back out. <laughs> I... All 
Okay. Now, as you can see right here, we need to actually start trying to do it again. We're not going to use that, but we need to go ahead and plus it out again. And when we plus it out again, then she can break into the five star version of her. Um, I'm going to wait until I get more of the earth to actually do that with her. I'm not going to waste any more right now. But again, we want to get her up because we want to use her. Uh, let's get her gear and we will polish this later after I polish everybody else that I need to do so she's up and she's ready now so that's you no know, just a little bit of a thing on how we do that so like I was saying now that we have all this gear right here what we're gonna do is we're gonna select it all and we're gonna disassemble now this is all the gear that I farmed overnight minus the stuff that I just put on characters and we're gonna head over as you can see it says legendary equipment in stock all right so we have more than enough for something right now we got boots chilling right here which i can't put on right now because the boots are at level 70 i believe and we have a robe right now a magical robe now you remember one of my characters needed a chest piece which is Anastasia, which is perfect. The only problem with that is I don't have any any um, dust to actually level it with, but we're going to buy it. So now we have that robe that we just got with her as block defense luck. Everything else. And like I said, the only problem is... Now I don't have um, anything to polish it. So we're not going to put it on yet. But you see, I just pretty much got Anastasia up to having all legendary gear right now. And like I was telling you, Boots is at level 70. She's not at 70 yet, so I'm not going to do that. But, you know, you can pretty much get Boots and the legendary in the um, exchange shop that way. We still have 118. And you see we have, you no know, travel companion Boots, so... I'll probably be at 70 eventually to get this, but I'm not going to worry about it right now because it takes time to earn that overall. So if you actually do this process, you will end up at a point, especially with that and getting gear. From solar trade and lunar trade. You notice right here that I get a lot of polish right here. And the weapons and um, armor are down right here. You can also buy more on um, tries if you want to with your currency. Um, I tend to not do that. Do that unless I have nothing to go after. Summon wise, but that almost never happens. So just keep that in mind. All right, so that is about it with gear. Also, um, be aware that in the raid, you want to do as best as possible in the raid because you turn around and use the raid to make weapons. And that's how I got the death um, bringer. I got lucky and I did not want to come in here. Go the airship. And you can go to door creation. I won't be able to do it right now, of course, because I don't even have any of the, um, the currency. However. You go to. Bam. You get this currency from fighting the raid boss. And you're going to notice when you get expected rewards. Here's all the weapons right here. Now you get special weapons, as you can see, that are meant for particular characters. And I ended up with um, Death Caliber. I'm sorry, I keep calling it Death Breaker. I ended up with Death Caliber. It's not specifically for my character that I would use it on, but you know, you can see. 
but you want to get these characters because they have specials for the actual character themselves and it's for the actual character so if you get any of these you know you know you'd be a lucky person but a lot of the characters have um special weapons for themselves as you guys can see right here pretty good right all right so that's it that's all i got for you guys in this video hope you enjoyed and you learned something again and i apologize for the first code like i said um we were not supposed to be using that sadly and um don't put it in the in the chat please don't put it in the chat because i'm gonna have to remove it on um, the mods is gonna have to remove it um just don't even talk about it if you know it you know it great but it is what it is I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace and good luck on your summons.